Hi guys, this is Drew Brashler. Uh, I was wanting to show you guys today the X32 uh, iPhone mixing app. Um, and so I'm here during practice, um, so you'll hear the band in the background maybe. Um, so today I have my iPhone and I'm sharing the screen on my, on my laptop here. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to go click on settings and make sure our phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi. So we want to go to Wi-Fi and then um, get your Wi-Fi password from your mix engineer if uh, you're not setting it up yourself. Um, and then once you have that on the same network, you're going to want to go and launch the app, which is called X32-Q. You can download this from the App Store by searching Behringer. So let's go ahead and get into this. So this is the first page that you're going to see. Now, there's a couple different things. We have this uh, right here. Um, and this basically brings up an orientation lock or an MCA wheel. Um, the MCA wheel, I'll show you guys here in a little bit. Um, basically, it's a wheel to control all the faders in a group rather than just a fader to go up and down. And the wheel is a lot easier to um, move uh, up and down. So um, to get this app connected to the board, we're going to go ahead and click this right here. So let's click that. And there's a demo mode you can play with it. It doesn't really uh, do much. It's a lot better when you actually get connected to the board. Um, so to uh, get connected into the board, you just click right here and you type in the um, IP address, and then you uh, and then you just press connect, um, and then it, it connects to the board, and then you press done. Now um, we have our overall fader uh, level right here, um, and then we have our um, which monitor mix we're adjusting. And now there's two ways to select between the monitor mixes. We can either press up here and it will pull up our mix bus list and then we can go select one of the mix buses uh, or we can press down on the bottom. So then we could press down here and it would do the same thing. Um, so I have two uh, mixes. This is going to be a stereo mix. It's linked on the console. Uh, there is no panning within the app. Um, However, you can pan on the console or using the iPad. Um, so talk to your mix engineer if that's something that you want to get set up. Um, now, so this is our overall volume for the send. Uh, so if you notice a little bit of like distortion in your, in your monitors, you might want to think about lowering this if you're driving a whole lot. Now, if we just do a simple swipe across this, we now come up with four slots here, um, and then these slots can be assigned to what you want to have in here. So I'm going to click on this, uh, click on this one right here first, and now we have a full uh, input list that we can scroll through to see all of the inputs on the board that we can select from. So I'm going to have this one be um, my mic. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select. I'm going to go ahead and select uh, my microphone uh, on this one, and then I'm going to, all I had to do was just click it, and then I'm going to press down here on this one. So I'm going to go over to the next side, and I'm going to select the rest of the microphones, and all I have to do is just click on them. And we notice that when you click multiple, it brings up this little MCA2. You can think of this as a group. Now I'm going to grab the, uh, the piano in this one, so I'm going to go ahead and press on that and press keys. Now we can also um, press and hold. Um, never mind. All right, and so we have keys, and then let's get the acoustic guitars. Not that we have any today. So once we are done with that, we can go ahead and press again um, on any of these buttons down here. Now, we have the uh, my individual microphone, so all I would have to do is uh, raise or lower this, and I'll show you guys that right now. There you go. And then we have the keys right here. And this is multi-touch. So um, I can be adjusting multiple things at the same time. Now, the MCA2, this is the rest of my vocal group. So I can bring this up. And it will start bringing up the rest of the vocals. Now, one thing that's interesting, if you have the app and you take your phone and rotate it to the left or the right, it'll bring up the entire board and you can simply swipe across using your finger and you can scroll through the entire board and view all of the, um, and I'm going to be choosing uh, things that aren't actually inside of, um, that aren't actually making music right now. So there we go. So we have um, a bunch of instruments like that. Now, if I went and assigned these um, to the same group, 
going to go ahead. Now, when you're when you're here, you can go ahead and press and hold like so, and then you can press the X button, and then that will delete these. Now, I'm going to go ahead and assign um, a bunch of channels to this that aren't being played on right now. Okay? And so then we'll have my my microphone. There we go. And actually, my microphone's this one. So we'll just X out of that. All right. So by uh, to get away from this, we would just click on one of these one more time. There we go. So you can see that my microphone right here, if I take this and turn this down, it'll go down. And you, know, you can't hear me. And now you can start hearing me again. So um, it, it reacts pretty nicely. Now, this MCA wheel, now we noticed that when I had this app turn to the right, that, that I have these faders kind of all in different positions. Now, when we turn this back vertically, I can take this wheel and move it up and down. And this moves all of those as a group. Now, if you move this up to where it's getting into the red, that means that that channel is maxed out. Or if you take this and you take it all the way down, it'll show you when the channels are muted. So if we take this and we roll it all the way up until that little red light comes on, there we go. Now we can turn. There we go. That's the channel that's all the way up at 10. So, um, you know, be careful when you're mixing that you don't have things too high. And you always want to mix. You're, you're always going to want to swipe right um, to look at your overall level and make sure you're not distorting anything on this. Um, some other things that you can do with the app um, is... Um, you can click through and see what your groups are. Um, so if we go click on three, um, which was on my fader three down here, if we go click on three, it'll show us just this individual channel. Or if we go back to one, it'll show us just those individual channels. So what you can do is you can have one be, say, yourself, and then two can be uh, background vocals, and three could be, the to do is turn it right, and then click whichever number you want, and then you're able to do a little bit of fine-tuning of these. And then if you wanted to get back to the board, you can press all again. And then you can just swipe right and see all of the different things. Now, you can um, put your effects back into um, your monitor just like you would be able to on the board. Um, the only things that you can't do with this is just adjust EQ. Um, but, uh, I mean, this is this is primarily going to be used for one of your um, one of your musicians who doesn't need to adjust EQ. Um, just basically, just basic uh, adjusting of levels in your monitor. So, if you have any questions, feel free to post below. This has just been a quick run through of this app um, and showing you how it works. So, thank you.